Today's install is gonna be the rear spats. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Have a nice Salem. So let's get started. There's three screws right here, just like the normal black plastic piece that comes on the car. And then <clears throat> on the black plastic piece, there's usually a screw that goes through the bottom. But since these hang down further, uh, it uses these little brackets here. These brackets are actually extremely rare, and these are ones that uh, my dad and I actually just made out of some metal. Um, I'm hoping that it's the correct measurements. I did my best to figure it out based on photos I'd seen online. So that's what one of them looks like, and then here's what they look like uh, put on. So it was an uh, inch and three quarters between the two holes, and then an inch and three quarters from the bottom to the top. And then these are also held on with uh, body panel tape that's going to go... Uh, from here all the way down and then all the way down to here. Uh, so I'm going to use some 3M body panel tape and I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Here's what the body panel tape looks like and like I said, we're going to be putting it along this edge and from about here all the way to the corner. Here's what the 3M tape looks like applied to the inside of the spat and uh, there's a little bit of a ridge that you can follow. Uh, you can just put the tape right on the inside of that ridge and it helps you keep a really straight line on the whole thing. This is the plastic piece that the spat is going to be replacing. So we're going to have to take this off. Um, to get to these three, really the best way is going to be to take the wheel off. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I got one uh, put on. It's just test fitted right now. I don't have the uh, double-sided tape stuck to the car yet. I haven't peeled off the backing. I just wanted to put it on, see how it fit. Um, so I got the three screws in on the side. And um, the bracket that I have for the bottom, it doesn't line up perfectly with the hole underneath. I did a little research online and it doesn't look like everyone uses those brackets. Sounds like they're not 100% necessary. So I might just leave it off for now. Um, I was a little worried about the screws causing damage to the plastic here, just because these things are so rare and I'm just being really careful with them. So I got these little neoprene washers. They're just, um, you know, they're pretty hard, but they're still flexible and, and they can squish down a little just to try and protect the plastic from breaking. Okay, here it is. It's all put on, tape is stuck to the car and there's no going back but i think it looks great let me know what you guys think the paint matches perfectly it lines up nice i got the bracket underneath to fit and line up uh, i would recommend doing two layers of tape right here like one on top of the other just to make it a little thicker because uh, the gap here is a little bit bigger than the rest of it so just uh for this little like two or three inch section here uh, just do double up the tape just so it's a little thicker. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the JDM quote unquote body kit? Do you prefer the US spec stock body? Leave a comment. Let me know. I definitely prefer the JDM, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.